Hey, what's up guys? My name is Nathan Hirsch. I'm a commercial photographer based out of Washington, D.C. Ever since I stepped foot in my parents' dark room 20 years ago, I was hooked on photography. But I never considered it to be a viable career, even though I love taking pictures. Well, why? Well, because I, everyone, and I mean everyone, told me it was a low-paying job with a high burnout rate. I'd walk into my local Ritz camera, for example, and while almost all the employees there were working second jobs as an assistant or photographing weddings or families on the side, they all seemed miserable. There was an overtly negative vibe in almost all these interactions, and looking through online forums only solidified this conception that life as a professional photographer was not one worth pursuing. How could this be? A lot of people, especially gear-focused photographers, they want you to listen to them. They want you to listen to their reasons why one camera is better than the other one, why Sony is better than Nikon, and why Nikon is better than Canon, and on and on down the line. They want to convince you that your ISO is never high enough, your lens is never sharp enough, unless you have camera X and lens Y. Then all your photographs will be perfectly sharp with zero noise and you'll land the job of your dreams and capture that incredible image you never would have been able to before. There's something similar, a similar mindset in this train of thought to the people who told me that photography wasn't a profession worth pursuing, that you couldn't make any money doing it. There's this, listen to me, I've been down this road before and there's nothing there for you element that's really similar. It's quantifying something that should be creative. It's the same as, listen to me, I've used all these cameras and lenses and there are only a few good ones, and even those will be obsolete once the next model comes out, which is also an overly pessimistic mentality. If enough people tell you not to get into photography or not to buy a certain brand or lens or camera, you start to believe them. Fast forward or rewind to six years ago, and I'm working at a high school up in Rockville. When I wasn't teaching, I would be out shooting cityscapes, abstract nature photos, really random stuff, but loving it. Out of the blue, I get a random request to shoot a wedding for someone with a very limited budget, but who had seen some of my photos. While the money wasn't much, it gave me that classic light bulb aha moment where a path that once seemed off limits and out of reach was suddenly very much achievable. If someone would pay me for nothing more than their perception of my creative ability, then the sky truly was the limit. I quit my job shortly after and began this incredible career. I wasn't going to listen to others' negativity anymore, but I still had a lot of learning to do. Off, 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 go, go. My goal for this series is to help other potential photographers navigate the choppy waters of this ever-changing industry, to share some of what I've learned along the way, what worked really well for me, and hopefully help you avoid some of the pitfalls. That's it for now. Remember, don't listen, learn, and never let anyone limit your abilities. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next Friday.